Hello everyone and welcome to STL Tech Talk's full review of the Samsung Galaxy S5 from AT&T. First of all, thank you to Katie Negus and AT&T for loaning us this device. Go into your local AT&T store where you will receive great service and help finding the right device for you. We cannot thank you enough. Go to AT&T.com for more information or purchase the S5 directly from AT&T's website. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the box the device comes in. We see a welcome change from the usual AT&T, sorry, but the usual AT&T packaging. We are looking uh, at a wood finish box uh, with a raised AT&T logo on the top. Uh, look at some of the specifications here in the back. We have the 4G LTE capable uh, compatibility. We've got the screen 5.1 inch 1080p Super AMOLED LED HD display. The audio, um, there's a plethora of audio features, uh, including the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The video quality and display pixel density is 1920 by 1080. The recording capabilities of the device is in UHD 4K. That means it's 3840 by 2160 at 30 frames per second. That is blazing fast. At the top here, you see the kind of embroidered a little bit. Maybe you can see it, the embroidered AT&T logo. Really nice uh, raised, uh, not, uh, you know, overbearing logo. So it's, it's really nice. It, that, it's okay. It's decent. So here's the device itself. Um, really surprised with this device, and I like it a lot. Uh, first glance, it's your normal Samsung device, and it kind of reminds me a lot of the Samsung uh, Note 2. Um Looking at the profile from the side, that's what really gives us that look. There's the power button on the top, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, along with a microphone uh, condenser and a IR blaster. This is a remote for the future. We'll talk about that here in just a second. Some more buttons. We've got the volume up and the volume down. And then just cruising along, just kind of showing you the Samsung version. Then now this is all plastic. This is not actually metal you're looking at. At the bottom there's the microphone, as well as the new, uh, basically where you plug in the device. Uh, the the biggest issue for me is I don't have fingernails. So remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey, lefty to open up this. Uh, basically a little door um, here. Uh, I tried to, to do it from the right several times, but if you do it from the left and you really try hard, pops open a USB 3.0. That's a USB 3.0 connector, uh, which the ch uh, connector and charger is in the box. We'll talk about that a little bit, but you can see here you can plug in the old uh, you know, like if you have an old charger cable, you can still plug that into here and charge the device, but uh, media and secretization is going to be a little different. Again, there's the, the microphone. So taking a, a little look there, uh, let's see the Samsung logo. You got the front facing two megapixel camera bottom button that we're all used to with the capacitive buttons on the left and right. Looking at the back, I've got to say at first, it was like, I don't know about this, but this, the, the design, but I really, I like it. The only thing with this device as other Samsung devices is the camera bump you can see here. When you lay it down without a case on it, uh, it I have a feeling that it's going to scratch the, uh, the camera lens a little bit and also here is the flash as well as the new heart rate monitor now this is not a fingerprint magnet it feels just like a band-aid which is really strange i know to say but i kind of like it um it, it's really grippy so i, I don't feel like i'm going to drop it the logo's nicely placed and here is your speaker now not the dolby you know kind of surround but just normal uh speaker but very loud and really well done let's go ahead and pop off the back here now if you look but right before we pop off the back if you look here there's a little um finger uh opening or crevice so that we can pull off the the back plate now, all you see here is the battery, the SIM card, and this case is actually helps with the water resistant, dust resistant. Um, it helps keep it from getting that, that water inside the device. So very cool technology going into the Galaxy uh, S5. I really like how they took some of the design schemes from the uh, S4 Active. But anyways, you have a battery with the, it's a 3.85 volt lithium ion 2800 milliamp battery. 
about 11 hours on 3G and up to 12 hours on 4G Wi-Fi up to 13 hours. Now the camera is a 16 megapixel rear facing camera that's a CMOS as well as the front facing camera which is also a CMOS, a 2 megapixel camera, front facing camera. And we're going to go ahead and look at a couple other specs for this device. Um, one thing you notice inside the box, you get the obviously you get a charger uh, that plugs a wall charger. You get uh, nice earbuds and replacement uh, ear cushions, if you will, uh, that, that that go uh, in your ear. And these wear really, really well. They, they fit well in the ear and they sound really good. So I was really impressed uh, and, and I really liked them a lot. Uh, also, here's your charging cable and your cable to plug in. Again, 3.0 USB, so that's why it looks a little different here. But uh, this is a plug into your computer or to that wall uh, outlet. On the left here, we see our quick start guides with a plethora of information. So I would say definitely read the manual on this thing because it's going to help you in the future. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. It's going to help you out tremendously. Now, as far as the uh, switching from, say, an, an iPhone, which is the, the two big competitors right now, iPhone and, and Samsung, uh, you have the information there. Here's the health and safety and warranty guide. We're going to go ahead and blaze on past this. Uh, the uh, good to go in the box. Now, once we start it up, we'll go ahead and show you what it sounds like. Also, very fast, very quick, very responsive. Nice little color here. God, it's such a beautiful screen this phone has. It runs a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 quad-core 2.5 gigahertz processor. Now, if you um, go ahead and look at the device here, you can all, you know just see the, the, the screen. Very nice. Here's your notification center. Very, very cool. Uh, looking at uh, the notification center, you have your brightness settings for, you know, to check your brightness. I found that setting it all the way to the top is kind of how I want to see it all the time, even at night. Uh, the, you know, the, the, the quick settings menu or the quick launcher, you've got your Wi-Fi location, sound, uh, screen rotation. You can uh, also check out more settings at the top right. Uh, now, when you do that, that uh, that pops up a, a lot of different uh, functionalities here, uh, such as your your toolbox, screen mirroring, smart stay, smart pause, touch sensitivity, private mode, airplay mode, blocking mode, power saving mode. Yeah, I, the, the the list does kind of go on and on. But if you go to the actual settings themselves. Uh, you'll notice that you have your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, and Samsung did a really good job of toning down the way that these icons look. They're all circular. There's a lot of stuff here. There's your fingerprint scanner. Uh, I didn't get too much into that. Uh, I did uh, try it out, and it, it worked sometimes, but I still find using a password or a passphrase or uh, some type of symbol the best way to go about it. Network connectivity. You have your Bluetooth, your airplay mode location, NFC sharing. Also, you have printing, which is kind of kind of funny, but hey, you know, some people still print. Uh, you have your wallpaper, your multi-window, uh, which is really cool to get if you know if you want to get a lot of work done if you're productivity uh, from a productivity standpoint. So a lot of cool stuff here. Power saver mode. Also, you can get to your storage, your security, uh, help, other accessories, battery, language, and input. So it's pretty hot stuff. So you are running uh, Android 4.5. 4.2 uh, at the bottom of the screen when you accidentally hit like I always do uh, which is the uh, application settings you can actually see how much of your uh, current applications that are open are taken of your of your memory of that two gigabytes worth of RAM because it is uh, powering two gigs of RAM so it's it's quad core so you know it's fast but you know you can bog it down pretty quick with uh, applications that are that are in the background so now looking at uh, the front of the device here if you you know just the, the scrolling everything is very fast as we would expect from from this type of device 
Um, we'd also want to go ahead and check our mobile data. Sometimes I turn it off and, and on just to make sure that that connectivity is there. Uh, you know, Wi-Fi calling and, you know, not Wi-Fi calling on this particular model, but, you know, you want to kind of leave it on Wi-Fi sometimes because it's just a, just a hair faster. Uh, plus, you're not using your data plan. But AT&T has some really good, um, you know, features. You can have a mobile hotspot. There's a lot of different uh, features that come packed in this phone, uh, and, and it supports a lot of the wireless bands. And I had no problem, uh, you know, logging in and, and going to other sites. Now, just to show you what the, uh, the mobile... Uh, you know, browsing experiences like. I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in. Oh, I should note that Google Now is on the device. So for you, for maybe some people that have talked a lot about, you know, uh, the Android Nexus 5 device, some of you will have heard about Google Now. It is still on this phone. All you have to do is t type in the search. Uh, engine on the on your home screen now here's our our site stltechtalk.com it was kind of a, it was a little laggy and not very responsive see i always hit the back button there but I, it's a little laggy not as responsive if i i wanted it to be i tried this out on wi-fi and on lte and i found it to be still an issue um but I'm not f necessarily faulting the device. There, there could be some other extenuating circumstances, but it was pretty fast, and uh, you know, pinch to zoom did work very well. And 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 overall, you know, listening to the you know listening to to music, uh, doing multitasking, was still very functional and fine. And here in just a second, I'm going to show you a clip of our last podcast that we did, but uh, just to show you how fast the service on AT&T's LTE is, uh, here it is. I just clicked on a link. going to go ahead and pull up the, uh, let's see, scroll up. Let's go ahead and pull up the video. And I went a little bit too far. Let's go back. Okay, so, you you know, you see the, uh, the show notes here. The touch sensitivity, a little weird, but I'll tell you a little bit about that. You can change that by swiping down from the top and then going into the uh, settings and then going into touch sensitivity. Uh, once you do that, you just set it to high. And the in video playing is playing right now. Uh, that's me talking and continuing to talk but really cool so like i said if you swipe down from the top and then you go to the top right uh, you click on that to find out more you go down to the very bottom right hand icon and it's touch sensitivity uh, once you do that uh, the touch sensitivity does increase dramatically and it does help when you're wearing gloves or outdoors or whatever the case may be is if it's still cold out uh, that's a pretty hot feature to have for sure also to note again water and dust resistant I gotta say this is appealing device to a lot of people for that reason uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's see we're gonna look at some weather here uh, normal weather screen that you would get on a you know normal application but very fast very zippy um, also Google suite of apps something that's a little different on the s5 is the folders usually you can just drag and drop icons on one another and then that creates a folder um, you swipe in from the left here I just wanted to quickly note the the my magazine is is just a, a basically a, a RSS reader or this like a blink feed system like if you would have on an HTC one uh, the new one the the new one m8 uh, but anyways going back to the folders you actually have to create a folder and then drag and drop icons into that folder that you made which is a little difficult uh, and and it seems kind of like you're going out of your way but we do have the Google Play Store here uh, going ahead and pulling it up now just to kind of show you that yes now this is the outdoors uh, looking at the device outdoors not a lot of sites do this I just wanted to show you what it looks like with auto brightness if you can see the screen constantly uh, have it like kind of running down and checking itself if you can stop that by swiping down from the top and then changing the brightness settings instead of auto on uh, auto to all the way up and now you can kind of see the device and how it works in real life conditions this is outdoors in the beaming 
light of the sun, you can still see the screen. So this 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 screen really impressed me. I, I come from uh, devices that uh, really do a good job outside that aren't Android. So this to see this was was really impressive, and just to see how fast this was and how well you could look through and read the news and maybe even watch some video. Uh, that was really cool too. And speaking of video, here's some video right now. So as you can see here, this is actually the sound from that little speaker outside. And, you know, putting this phone up next to my head, I really didn't feel like I was crazy oh, wow. because the device is rather large, but it wasn't too bad. So also another feature here is the geo news. So if there was any earthquakes or, you know, any seismic activity, stuff like that, it's going to be here. Here's the real big talk, though. It's about S health. It's about fitness tracker. Here I can track my steps. I can actually go back and look at, you know, previous days, uh, you know, goals and all these different things. It's not just a pedometer. It's not just a, you know, a heartbeat monitor checker. This thing is trying to calculate your calorie intake. It's trying to calculate many, many a different thing. The one interesting, uh, you know, screen differences on the left you're going to see a nexus on the right this is the uh, s5 so looking at the difference in the screen quality i mean hands down right off the bat it, you know you see on the right more vivid uh, you know very very uh, dense colors and then on the left kind of just this warm uh, left over from the 720p. So I just wanted to kind of show the, the differences there. Uh, it's really interesting to note that um, uh, the M Moto X is also the 720p. So, uh, you know, this device is kind of leaps and bounds. And I sp think speaks to the future. Speaking of the future, photography on this thing is has surprised me beyond measure. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom in here on the camera. You can see here that this is this this picture was taken outdoors in in a pretty okay conditions. However, it still just did a phenomenal job. Really impressed with the camera. Just really impressed with the camera. And I think uh, almost every user will be. Um, you know, just when you pinch the zoom and you go in there and you look at some of this, these colors and how far away that that's you know the, the the objects are from you, still having that good of a picture was was really really cool. So um, I I was really surprised on this on this camera as as a, a good camera phone. Um, looking at the the music, obviously uh, you know there's this um, uh, the music player. Uh, it uses Google Music. You can also use Samsung's. A suite of music and uh, other features but not a lot of people kind of in the states are using that so most of you're going to use google play here's the internal memory here's what's really interesting uh that the system memory requires 4.5 ish gigabytes of space right off the bat now this is the 16 gigabyte version but you can expand the memory with a sd card and i believe they make it all the way up to 128 gigabytes so it does support that now here is the camera itself uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings oh wow there is a plethora of settings first thing uh, setting that i'd like for you to look at is the uhd setting now the following will be unavailable while recording in uhd so you got the dual camera mode and all sorts of uh, different uh, requirements there but that is something to note uh, you've got a uh, flash you've got uh, you know your different video uh, let's see here I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at uh, metering nodes recording <laughs> mode you've got a different flashes and effects uh, grid guidelines you've got your shutter sound if you like that you, you can control voice control uh, you have your ISO which is kind of some image stabilization optimization uh, you've got your burst shots now down at the bottom uh, of the screen now that you can see I, I clicked on mode you got your auto beauty face which automatically makes you a little bit prettier which obviously I like uh, shot and more panorama virtual tour I can see realtors using this a lot also you have a, a way to download load more applications or lenses if you will and um, you know just overall just an amazing uh, uh, camera uh, 
for the masses here uh, that you could use in, in a lot of different modes that you can uh, use it in. The only thing again is you see how that the camera uh, sticks out. I would get a case, uh, even though this, this phone is water and dust resistant, not proof, but resistant, I would still get a case just to protect that camera in the back, uh, if anything else, to, to protect the screen as well, uh, even though the screen is, is made very sturdy and, and the like. Uh, looking at the device kind of here, just wanted to show again indoors what the screen looked like and uh, just to kind of give you that uh, that shot of what the screen we'll get back to that in just a moment let's get to s health though and the other really neat feature about this phone which is the uh, heart rate monitor so you get a little tutorial uh, video uh, visually and uh, in text tutorial on how to actually use this thing you just put your finger on, over the sensor and then obviously 77 beats per minute is my my heart rate so kind of kind of cool feature I, I like it a lot and i think all of you are going to get some use out of these uh, s health features now again uh comparing the two screens side by side uh, i wanted to show that uh, the you know this device kind of speaks to why the the hd is so is so awesome looking the base between our houses will be sealed when my air principalities protect the princess of crete to be now, next up, what we have is the actual shot. This is from the Samsung Galaxy S5. I'm just to kind of show how well it does with moving objects, refocusing very very nice very cool autofocus works great that is your review of the Samsung Galaxy S5 from AT&T it's a really wonderful device and I think a lot of you are gonna really enjoy it um, you know I at first had some reservations about it but now I'm on board I think that the Samsung is gonna sell a lot of these um, I think it's a I think it's a a good device to have just kind of all around it's got nfc it's got all the uh the capabilities of, of future uh technology that's going to be tapping into it along with you can get the the galaxy uh, gear watch as, as well as just the gear 2 a neo uh, and the fit uh, you can get those that'll sync up with samsung samsung isn't going anywhere and the operating system i think is going to be pretty good to go for a long time so i think uh I think you're really going to like this device if you're uh, if you're into Android and all that. Also, thank you to uh, Katie from AT&T, and thanks for all of the, the wonderful service that we get there. Um, AT&T's coverage was fantastic. Um, I didn't experience any drop calls while on this device, which is pretty crazy because of where we live and some of the places that I travel. Um, so I think that a lot of people are going to get a lot of good use out of this and, uh, and the LTE was really fast as well. And the switch between H HSPA plus and, uh, LTE was, was just fine. So, uh, check it out, uh, go into your local AT&T store or go online, uh, to purchase this device today. Thank you.